It's like deja vu all over again. Deja vu all over again. I'm old enough to remember a year ago, right as Assad, a year ago, right as Assad had been winning the Civil War and was about to get all this aid package and everything, he decided to gas children, leading to an airstrike. So this Assad guy, I mean, he's just, I tell you, Assad is an interesting character because he is apparently intelligent enough to win a war, a civil war. But right as the U.S. is about to leave, then Assad goes, oh, we, you know, we need to gash children, right? I tell you, this son of a gun, interesting guy. You know, it's amazing how he's so intelligent and shrewd and able to fight all these bloody dictators and fight all these rebels and ISIS and Al-Qaeda and all these terrorists. He's, a, he's able, he's just so strategic and intelligent. But then right as America, right, right as Trump announces that he wants to, you know, withdraw all troops, Assad just, he decides to gas children because that's what you would do in that situation. That makes total sense. Just like a year ago, almost a year to the day, when Assad had won and had stabilized the regime and was about to get a big humanitarian aid package, he gassed children then too. So I tell you, um, I tell you, this Assad guy, he's something else, man. He's quite the character. So I definitely believe, I definitely believe that he gassed children right as Trump announced Troop Patrol because... I mean, because what would, why wouldn't he do that? That would make total sense, right? If you're fighting a bloody war and you're winning and Trump is saying we're going to remove American troops, you would, of course, do what Assad did here, which is gas children. And any suggestion otherwise is a conspiracy theory. Just like Saddam Hussein had all kinds of weapons of mass destruction in uh, Iraq. He really did, and Iraq was a great war. It was a big success. The war in Afghanistan was a great war. It was a great thing for America to go to war with Iraq and Afghanistan, even though Saudi Arabia sponsored the 9-11 hijackings, and even though 17 of the 19 hijackers on the 9-11 were from Saudi Arabia, and we let everybody who was connected to the terrorists from Saudi Arabia fly out that day. That was the right decision. So I fully support a war with Syria because Assad gasses children right as Trump is about to leave and right as troops are about to pull out. He gasses children. So that tells me that we definitely should go to war with Syria. Um, we definitely made the right decision going to war in Iraq because there were WMDs in Iraq. As we know, the Iraq war was a great success for America because regime change just happened easily, right? So right, right as Saddam Hussein was taken out, the Iraqi people said, this is amazing. We're going to have a democratic government. So Iraq is beautiful now. Everything's great. No children died there. There's no problems with cancer. Everything is great in Iraq. It was a big success for our foreign policy team. Afghanistan, another tremendous success, success and victory for our um, foreign policy team. Great things happening over there. Great, great thing. So, yeah, when we when we go to war with Syria, which we have to because Assad gassed children because Trump was going to remove all troops from Syria. So that's what Assad would do because that would be the most rational, intelligent decision to do. We, we definitely need to go war with Syria. And we need to remove Assad. Why? Because, we'll, we'll, because then we'll have stability in the Middle East, right? We need to remove Assad because then just a nice guy is going to take over for Assad. A good person is going to take over in Syria. And so all we have to do is just topple Assad and then magically there'll be like a big election, a democratic election, and then they'll have a new president and then there'll be no instability in Syria. There'll be no refugee crisis because there won't be more civil war. So more, more people won't flee war-torn Syria because – 
everything will be great if we just, you know, bomb Syria a few times, blow up a few houses, blow up a few roads, blow up a few schools. Once we do that, the the refugee, there won't there won't be any need for people who are serious refugees because but then they'll be able to rebuild, right? Just like Iraq has been a, a great success. So yeah, I'm definitely definitely agree with Bill Crystal, who supported the, the war in Iraq. That um, just like the Iraq War, we have to, we just have to do it. You know, we can't have Assad gassing children right as Trump is going to remove troops. So, I uh, said, so I'll go ahead and you know, I'll go ahead and um, read your comments. No, um, you cannot be Christian in Syria. Um, you can't be Christian in Syria, even though, you know, even though Syria protects Christians and allows people to be Christian in Syria, you really can't be Christian. I don't know. I don't really understand that, actually. I've seen pictures of Assad touring Christian churches. That's confusing. Hmm, that's fascinating. So Assad tours Christian churches. I'm, so, I'm, I'm just, I'm really confused right now, folks. But I do know we need to go to war because Bill Crystal wants us to. Uh, never, never Trump wants us to go to war. The same intelligence community that concluded Trump colluded with Russia and that everybody here right now is a bot, isn't a real person, they've said, you know, we need to go over Syria. So I, what do I know? I believe we should blindly trust. We must blindly trust Bill Crystal and the architects of the Iraq war because that's, Iraq has been a great success. Um, nothing went wrong there. It didn't lead to the rise of ISIS. It didn't get any innocent people murdered, no American lives were lost, no veterans are committing suicide in America because of, uh, you know, things that have happened to them, no, no veterans have PTSD, the VA is in great shape in America. Yeah, I mean, why, I mean, now is a perfect time to go to war with, with uh, Syria because the VA is in great shape. The VA is, like, perfect. If you're a vet, pristine medical care. If you are a vet, if you're an American vet of the Iraq or Afghanistan war, you will get the best medical care possible with the VA. A very efficient, well-run, professional operation for all vets. So we fixed the VA. The VA is great. Um, 22 veterans used to commit suicide every day. That stopped. So veterans are no longer committing suicide. A veteran hasn't committed suicide in all of 2018. There's been no... There's been no veteran suicides at all. The VA is great. Vet, veterans are, are, are fine now. Everybody's cool if you're a vet. And Iraq is completely stabilized now. Afghanistan is pretty much a Western democracy now. If you go to Afghanistan or Iraq now, it's just like going to Sweden. Well, Sweden before, Sweden before the, the car bombings. So maybe Sweden's not a good example. Well, if you go to Iraq or Afghanistan, it's kind of like going to London. Well, I mean, London before the knife attacks. London now has a higher murder rate than New York. So maybe, maybe London's not the best example here. But I don't know. Going to Iraq and Afghanistan because of America, America's foreign policy intervention has made those countries basically like Europe. I mean, just go there. You're, you'll be fine. So because we've fixed, we fixed Iraq, we fixed, fixed Afghanistan, and we fixed the VA, we've fixed the veteran suicide problem. So, you know, now's the time. Now's the time to go to war. It just makes total sense, especially because Assad's gassing children, which is just not, not a good thing. Can't believe he did that, right? As Trump was about to leave, that just shows what a bad guy he is. Well, you know, I see just, he's a bad guy. So I'm going to go ahead and read your comments. Uh, you are a whack job warmonger. You are not an American. You must be a foreign agent. Well, I'm, I'm not a warmonger, but I just know that we've had great success in Iraq and Afghanistan. So how could you look at what happened to Iraq and Afghanistan and, and reach any conclusion other than we need to do that to other countries, Right. So if you look at you look at Iraq today, you go, well, I mean, this is amazing what we did over there. So fantastic. It's just like Europe over there now. So let's go do that for Syria now. We're just we're doing the world a favor. So I'm not a warmonger. 
But I just know that we have such great success. Um, and our foreign policy geniuses in America really like Bill Crystal. I mean, guys, I'm a big Bill Crystal fan. The guy's a genius. Bill Crystal, he is he's a genius. And he knows everything about foreign policy and everything that America should do. And he says we need to go to war with Syria. And he was right about the war with Iraq. So his track record, the track record of all the people who want us to go to war in Syria is perfect. They're all the same people who want us to go to war with Iraq. And we know Iraq is perfect. And we know the VA in America is perfect. And we know there are no vets with untreated PTSD. And we know there are no veterans in America committing suicide. And now's the time to do it. Just it's logic, guys. Just logic, basic logic. Yeah, just, just basic, basic logic. Mike, you were like nine. On a scale of one to ten on a sarcasm meter, you were like a nine. And people are still getting triggered. Guys, I'm not being sarcastic. I sincerely believe. I sincerely believe that Assad gassed children right as Trump said we're going to pull troops out. Because that's what you would do. That I mean, that that's what you do. Oh, you're about to leave? Oh, I'm going to go gas children. That's the only logical thing. So I'm not being, I'm 100%, I'm 100% sincere. I also believe sincerely that the war in Iraq was a great success for America. And I believe that the VA is perfect. There's nothing wrong with the VA. It's amazing. And I also know people like Bill Crystal. they care a lot about the VA, right? So Bill Crystal, who supported the war in Iraq, and he really wants us to go to war with Syria, and he wanted Hillary Clinton to win. So, but I'll forgive him for that. You know, he wanted Hillary Clinton to win. But Bill Crystal is my uh, intellectual mentor. And he cares a lot about veterans. He really talks about the VA all the time, right? You know, he, Bill Crystal, the people who want us to go to war in Syria, they really care about the troops, man. They're all, you know, they want VA reform. They want vets to get good health care. You know, they're really, they're pro-veteran people. Just watch what they say every day. And you'll say, Bill Crystal, now that is a man who loves the troops. That is a man who respects the infantrymen, the field artillery. That is somebody who has great, great respect for veterans. He, re he really cares, really cares. So what, what else are you guys saying? Yeah, I mean, it makes total sense. It makes, makes total sense. Um, you're funny today. Guys, I'm serious. I'm, I'm you know. I'm 100%. I'm 100% serious. Iraq was a big success in America. For America. I'm, gl I'm glad we went. I'm glad we went to war in Iraq. I mean, it worked out great for the Iraqi people. They were liberated. They have democracy. ISIS was destroyed. There's now a, a Western Demo democratically elected president there. Their art museums. It's a beautiful cultured place. No children have cancer. There isn't depleted uranium contaminating the water. 500,000 people weren't, you know, collateral damage. That never happened. That was fake news. No, no innocent people die in wars. There's, when, you, when you do a drone strike, the only people who die are the intended targets. Drone strikes never, drone strikes never um, kill uh, bystanders. That, that's not how it works. A drone strike just goes in and only kills the, the bad guy. Nobody who's like maybe in the building next door or a janitor maybe working. No, none of those people ever, ever die. That's not how drones work, apparently. Because I watch the news and the news tells me this. So Mike Cernovich has just been watching a lot of the media lately. And I've learned that Bill Crystal's a foreign policy genius. I've learned that there's no problems with the VA. I've learned that veterans don't commit suicide. I've learned that there's no such thing as uh, innocent civilian bystanders ever dying in war. That's fake news. And I've learned that Assad gassed his people right as Trump is about to, to re remove troops from Syria. I mean, come on, guys. How can you doubt this? What are you, conspiracy theorists? How can you, uh, how, how, yeah, we, our world is great. Our, wor our world, our world is great. On Facebook, Jim says, I like you, Mike, but you're totally wrong when you start spouting this Bat Buchanan-esque neo-isolationist dogma. What are you talking about, sir? I support the Bill Crystal war with Iraq, and I support the WMDs 
in Iraq that we, we took out, and I support the war with Syria. I do not support neo-isolationism. I am now a full supporter of other people, preferably 18 or 19, going to war in Syria. That's I, like Bill Crystal, like the media. I'm, I'm fully, I'm not a neo-isolationist. I mean, my God, neo-isolationist, that sounds like such a, it's like basically being a Nazi. Why would I, why would I support neo-isolationism? I support American globalism and going and cleaning up the Middle East. And, and uh, I also read that uh, an Israeli official said that U.S. must uh, go after Syria. And I believe that we should do whatever other countries tell us to do. If another country tells us that we must invade Syria, then that's what we have to do. But that's our role as America. Don't you understand? Our role as America is if a, if a foreign power tells us what we have to do, then we have to go do that. I mean, what's wrong with you? That's just, that would be insubordination not to obey that order from other countries. So I'm, I'm all in. I don't, don't call me isolationist. How dare you? How dare you? Mike, you are talking SHIT. Assad is a protagonist. I'm not quite sure I understand what that means, sir. How am I talking shh? And what do you mean by Assad as a protagonist? A protagonist like a character in a story? Don't really uh don't really understand what that means. Don't really understand. Bill Crystal's an amazing American, great patriot. F you idiot. You don't know shh about the world. Well, you can't even spell Y-O-U, you. So you, sir, and you had a, you can't even have the comma right after the word. So I, w I would say you're not a credible, it's not a credible criticism of Cernovich here. See, yeah, yeah, Saddam Hussein gave Assad WMDs. That's what I, you know, clearly that's what happened. Because Bill Crystal knows everything about foreign policy. Yeah, Bill Crystal, he knows everything about foreign policy, and he's who uh, I listen to, even though he was never Trump and said wanted Hillary Clinton to win. So all the all the people who wanted Hillary Clinton to it, it's interesting. Um, so before I became a globalist, before I realized that Bill Crystal was, you know, who I needed to listen to and obey, he's my intellectual mentor. I would have found it perplexing that the very people who wanted Hillary Clinton to win and were never Trumpers are the ones who want war with Syria. I would have found that perplexing. But I've decided to stop questioning the narrative. I've decided to believe everything that I see coming from the government and coming from the media. So I'm... I'm going to just listen to these people because they know they know so much more than than I do. And they're telling us to go to war with Syria. What, what else are you guys saying? Assad, <laughs> Assad has no control over Syria. Iran controls Syria. Yeah, I mean, I agree 100%. Um, so because you know this, rantingly.com so uh, you said Iran controls Syria. Great. How many Iranian troops are in Syria? What are the brigade names? You know, like America, you have the 82nd Airborne, 101st All-American, 3rd Ranger, 2nd Ranger. So since you are an expert on Iranian military tactics, this is rantingly.com. So what, what um, divisions of the Iranian army are in there, and who are their top generals? So... Um, because you know, you and Bill Crystal, of course, know everything about the Iranian army. Name, you know, the generals right now who are in Syria and name, you know, the, the regiments and the divisions in there by name because, you know, you're educating me. Because you know, you know Iran's over there, so you must know basic troop information, right? You would know generals, you would know regiment names, things like that, patches. You could probably recognize patches and, and other things. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm listen, looking forward to the education that you're going to um, offer all of us because you know Iran is over there. You just, you know it, right? You know it. You know so much. You've probably seen them yourself. You've probably been to Syria, right? Probably seen people, seen people there yourself, you know? 
prob- probably just, you know, you've seen people yourself there. Just, you know so much. What else is going on? Mike, I may not like you overall, but thanks by standing by logic on this one. Why would you not like me? I'm a very likable person. Who is this Bill Crystal guy? I don't know. Let me see. Is that his name? Yeah, Bill Crystal. K-R-I-S-T-O-L. He's a, a genius. One of the architects of the Iraq War. He's genius. And he works at the Atlantic. So if you work at the Atlantic, you know, you know, you know everything about the world. Somebody said this man needs to be deported out of the USA. Yeah, 82nd Airborne is all American, 101 is the Screaming Eagles. You got me there, Douglas. You're right. Did I did I say that incorrectly? So Douglas noted 82nd is all American, 101st is Screaming Eagles. You're right, sir. So if I said that correctly, I uh, retract that. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm because I'm watching the media and re-educating myself, and becoming someone who knows that you can trust the same people who want a war with Iraq for the for the serious stuff. You know, I'm just, I've got to catch up. I'm on a learning curve. I'm on a, uh, I'm on a learning curve. Syria was the last hold. Um, you know, Syria allowed Christians, but I don't know, maybe, maybe Christians, Syria does allow you to be Christian. Maybe we shouldn't allow people to be Christian in Syria. Have you ever thought about that for a minute? Because Syria is one of the only countries where Christians can openly practice their faith. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't allow – maybe that's a bad thing. Have you ever thought about that one, huh? Have you ever thought about that one, my friends? So you can be Christian in Syria, but maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe you shouldn't have Christian churches in Syria. You know, so – just something to think about because the people who want us to invade Syria don't believe Christians should be able to openly practice their religion. They hate Christians. So maybe then – so Christianity maybe is just bad. That's what I hear on TV. I, I, you know, According to television news, you know, if you're a Christian, you shouldn't be able to even be on social media. You should be banned from the internet. So I'm just rethinking a lot of things. You know, about about the world. I'm just telling you guys. I'm just telling you the way it is. I'm te- I'm I'm red pilling you. I'm re- I'm I'm red I'm red pilling you. Turkey is not led by a dictator. Turkey is a great country. The Turk uh, Turkish government did not perpetuate the Armenian genocide. The uh, the Turkish go- Turkish government great great people. It's great. They didn't come in, over to American soil. And they didn't come to American soil and beat up American protesters. That never happened. Turkey, Turkey never did that. Tur- Turkey never did that. All right, guys. I'm going to go. I'm going to go read some Bill Crystal books. I'm going to read some books. I'm going to just read and listen to the experts in the media who got us into the war with Iraq, which was a, a big success. And I'm going to quit listening to people who don't think that we should go to war with other countries because they're wrong. War is, a, war is peace. War is peace. Uh, that's what I, I think a lot of people don't really understand these days, that if you want to have peace, you must go to war. You cannot have peace without war. So war is peace. And America, is, our foreign policy totally intelligent, run by intelligent people, and we can trust them this time, the architects of the Iraq War. They know what to do right. So that's that's me. That's my perspective. I look forward to a big ground war with Syria, and I look forward to learning more from the mainstream media because they're the only ones telling the truth. And the, and the people like... The people who want us to go with Iraq, those are the people that we can trust. Thanks for tuning in. Mike Cernovich, Cernovich.com.